Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of Grand Theft Auto modding. Specifically, we'll learn how to import .yft files into Blender. This allows you to view, edit, and even export these 3D models for your own projects. Let's get started. First, you need to download and install the necessary tools. This includes OpenIV and a suitable Blender plugin. OpenIV is essential for extracting the .yft files from the GTA game archives. A popular Blender plugin for YFT import is CodeWalker. Make sure you download the correct version of the plugin compatible with your Blender version. Once you have these tools, locate the .yft file you want to import. These files are usually found within the .rpf archives in your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Use OpenIV to navigate these archives. For example, vehicle models are often found in update backslash x64 backslash dilpacks backslash enclose backslash dlc.rpf backslash x64 backslash models backslash dimages backslash enclose underscore mail.rpf backslash mp underscore m underscore free mode underscore zero one underscore mp underscore m underscore clothing underscore zero one. Extract the desired .yft file to a folder on your computer. Now, open Blender. Go to Edit Preferences Add-ons. Click Install and navigate to the downloaded CodeWalker plugin.zip file. Enable the plugin after installation. With the plugin installed, you can import the .yft file. Go to File Import YFT. Navigate to the folder where you extracted the .yft file and select it. The import process can take some time, depending on the complexity of the model. Once imported, you'll see the model in your Blender viewport. You might notice that the textures are missing. This is normal. You'll need to manually link the textures. The textures are usually in the same folder as the .yft file, often as .dds files. In Blender's shader editor, create a new material. Add an image texture node and load the corresponding .dds texture file. Connect the color output of the image texture node to the base color input of your principal BSDF shader. Repeat this for other textures like normal maps or specular maps. Sometimes the models appear very small or very large. This is due to the scale difference between Blender and the game engine. Adjust the scale in Blender to a more manageable size. You can scale the entire model using the S key. Another common issue is the model appearing broken or distorted. This might be due to missing dependencies or incorrect import settings. Ensure you have all the necessary .ydr and .ydd files in the same folder as the .yft file. Experiment with different import settings in the YFT import panel, like import LODs. Remember that the process can be complex, especially for intricate models. Experimentation and troubleshooting are key. Congratulations! You have successfully imported a .yft file into Blender. This opens up a world of possibilities for modding and creating your own content. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Consider supporting our channel through Patreon or by checking out our merchandise store. Every little bit helps us create more content like this. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials.